Yeah, welcome back um, to an illustration of how you can use pivot tables to check the consistency of your annotation. Because one thing that frequently happens when you annotate data is that as you go down and it gets a bit tedious and you know the autocomplete function may play up or you think it plays up is that you enter um, the same value in two different ways and Excel can help you to check that or you can use pivot tables to check that. So to illustrate suppose um, I'm not entering mislead here but um, I entered something like misled because I was misled by the, the past tense here, then I can check that in our pivot table. So if we go back to the sheet one that we just had um, here, mislead has three. If I updated that, so right click and refresh, then the mislead would now only have two items. And if I sorted or had the original one sort by verb, then mislead comes up here as um, two types, even though um, I only have one type because I entered the wrong uh, value. So if that happens, then um, you can go back to um, your uh, to the RONUS one and look for. I mean, it's now in in row three, but if I wanted to say, yeah, I have to correct misled, then I can filter um, by that. And see, oh, yeah, okay, that's mislead. Um, here you go, and uh, take the filter out, and then go back to my frequency list here. Um, right click, refresh, and then um, I fix that problem. Similarly, if I um, have something coming up um, that's a bit harder to spot, uh, suppose I enter something with a with a space. And to illustrate that, I'm just going to change the value up here in the American English to um, add a space at the end. And then do my pivot table. So get rid of uh, verb, get rid of count here, and then have variety here. Um, oh yeah, should, that should be refreshed. And then all of a sudden I have two, um, the variable variety in three uh, types where only actually where the values should only be two, American English and British English. And that's very difficult to spot, right? If I go into that cell up here, then I see there is um, an empty space. Um, and because it's so difficult to see, that can lead to a bit of frustration. So, hey, why, why is Excel doing um, what it is doing? But um, yeah, so... That's one way where you can check, um, have you been consistent in your annotation? So if I go back and um, delete that space, go back to the pivot table, right click, uh, refresh, <clears throat> that will give me um, that back again. Okay. Um, from experience is that the, the consistency of coding um, is actually um, much more difficult than you might think. And um, if you consistently um, misspell something, uh, say I recoded all these as active, but misspelled something like maybe, I don't know, active or something along these lines and then you go like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and then because I do the auto completion um, and then I end up with um, a whole bunch of um, wrong values that would obviously also show in the uh, pivot table so if I update that refresh right or enter a new one if you wanted to um, and then drag voice down here get rid of uh, that then I already see, okay, I have um, seven instances that are coded incorrectly. Again, same thing, go back and uh, fix the issue. Save, go back, right click, refresh. There you go, updated.